exchanging leg hooks. Balboa's drilled. Here comes Nixon. He's exhausted. He's just punching the man. Watch this ball now, Mace! There are a bunch of reasons why Sylvester Stallone's Rocky VII might finally happen after Creed III, as well as some reasons why bringing him back for Creed IV might not be a great idea. But most importantly, could Rocky VII finally give Balboa a chance to make up for his biggest failure? Here's everything we know about Rocky VII so far. The idea of Rocky VII has been floating around for years, with Sylvester Stallone first thinking about it after the success of Rocky Balboa in 2006. That sixth movie got the best reviews since the original and made more money than Rocky V, showing there was still life in the franchise. Serious talks about Rocky VII started picking up steam after the Creed movies gave the series a big boost. The main reason Rocky VII hasn't happened yet is because of issues with franchise producer Erwin Winkler. Winkler holds some rights to the character Rocky Balboa and his relationship with Stallone has soured over the years. Stallone has said Winkler messed up the development of Rocky VII, pulling the plug when Stallone started asking for a share of the profits. Even though Winkler still controls Rocky's rights, work on the film continues in the hopes the issues will eventually get sorted out. Amazon's interest in expanding the franchise after Creed III could be key to making Rocky VII happen. They've already announced Creed IV and are looking into various spin-offs, including an anime series. While these projects focus on Michael B. Jordan's character, it would make sense for Amazon to also use Stallone's Rocky Balboa. Stallone has hinted at a possible show exploring Rocky's origins, but Rocky VII would be a bigger move to expand the franchise. The good news is that Stallone already has the story for Rocky VII planned out. He started developing it in 2019 and has shared some excerpts that would form the screenplay. The film would go back to the franchise's roots, focusing on an immigrant theme. Rocky would meet Chucho the Mutt, a young foreign boxer stuck in America illegally, and the story would explore their bond and how Rocky copes with Adrian's death. Since most of the narrative is already laid out, the movie could come together quickly once everything else is in place. Another reason for Sylvester Stallone to star in Rocky VII is that his role in the Creed movies has wrapped up. The first two Creed films showcase the strong bond between Rocky and Adonis, but Creed II ended with them parting ways. Rocky went to Vancouver to spend time with his son, Robert Balboa Jr., and his family, having fulfilled his purpose by training Adonis to become a champion. Now that Adonis is a retired boxer, there's no pressing need for Rocky to return to the Creed series. Stallone's absence from Creed III also suggests that Rocky VII is more likely. It shows there's no future for Stallone in the spin-off franchise, and bringing him back in Creed IV would feel forced, especially since he missed major events like Marianne's death and Adonis stepping back into the ring. On the other hand, Rocky VII would naturally bring Rocky back into focus, exploring more of his life and story. Rocky VII could address some unresolved questions from Rocky Balboa's past it could bring back old characters and tie up loose ends, such as the relationship between Rocky and his son, Robert Balboa Jr., which wasn't fully explored between Rocky Balboa and Creed II. This film could delve into their falling out, particularly since Rocky has formed a father-son-like bond with Adonis. The story of Rocky VII could also be timely after Marianne's death in Creed III, Stallone's idea for Rocky's next chapter involves him continuing to process Adrian's death. The loss of Apollo Creed's wife and Adonis' adoptive mother could bring up unresolved feelings about Adrian's passing. This would connect Rocky VII to Creed III and explain Stallone's absence from the latter. Rocky VII could also pave the way for more spin-offs for Amazon, particularly through the new fighter, Chucho the Mutt, whom Rocky trains. If the film establishes a strong bond between Rocky and Chucho, it could lead to a new spin-off series focusing on the Mexican boxer, potentially even having him cross paths with Felix Chavez. Finally, Rocky VII could provide a fitting end to Rocky Balboa's story. Stallone has had several endings for Rocky, with Rocky V, Rocky Balboa, and Creed II, all offering potential conclusions to his journey. However, Rocky VII could be the definitive swan song for Stallone's iconic character, giving him a proper and final farewell. With that being said, let's talk about why bringing Sylvester Stallone's Rocky back in Creed IV would be a mistake. 
Creed IV is on the way, and while some fans want to see Stallone return, it could have several unintended consequences for the franchise. Stallone has been the face of the Rocky franchise since the beginning, playing the iconic Italian Stallion. He starred in every Rocky sequel and the first two Creed spin-offs. His absence from Creed III was a big deal, leading to speculation about whether he would be in Creed IV. However, bringing him back might not be the best move. One of the biggest reasons Rocky shouldn't return to Creed IV is that Creed II gave him a perfect ending. In the Creed movies, Rocky had grown apart from his son Robert, but at the end of Creed II, he decided to travel to Canada to reunite with him and meet his grandchild for the first time. This reunion was a beautiful conclusion to Rocky's character arc, and bringing him back would undermine this perfect ending. Rocky's connection to his loved ones had always been the heart of the franchise, so leaving Robert to see Adonis again would weaken this message. Bringing Rocky back would not only ruin Rocky's perfect ending, but also disrupt Robert's arc. For Rocky to return, either Robert would need to come back to see Adonis, which would be out of character since he moved to Canada to escape his father's shadow, or Rocky would have to leave Robert, which would be uncharacteristic given their renewed relationship. Either scenario would hurt their character's development. Rocky's return in Creed IV could also overshadow Adonis' Creed story. While Adonis is a fantastic character deserving of his own narrative, Rocky Balboa remains the franchise's most iconic figure. Stallone's return would generate significant hype, potentially detracting from Creed IV's original story. Adonis finally gained independence from Rocky's legacy in Creed III, and bringing Rocky back would mean they both have to share the spotlight again, undermining Adonis's growth. Moreover, bringing Rocky back in Creed IV would create a significant plot hole regarding Creed III. Adonis's mother, Marianne, dies in Creed III, a tragic moment for the Creed family. Rocky, who was essentially family to Apollo and Adonis, was noticeably absent from her funeral. If Rocky reappears in Creed IV, it would require an awkward explanation for his absence during such a crucial moment, which would feel forced and uncomfortable. If Sylvester Stallone ever makes Rocky VII, the franchise could finally address and redeem Rocky Balboa's greatest failure. Rocky might have improved his boxing score, but every time he tries to have a relationship with his son Robert, something always goes wrong. In Rocky V, his obsession with training Tommy Gunn came at the expense of giving his son the attention he deserved, leaving Robert bullied and neglected. After Stallone killed off Adrian in Rocky Balboa, Rocky's relationship with Robert got even worse, leading to another estrangement by the time they reconnected in Creed. Despite always being on the outs, their relationship finally seemed to gain some traction at the end of Creed II, when Robert introduced Rocky to his grandson, Logan. It looked like Rocky might finally prioritize his family over his career, applying the same spirit and determination he showed in the ring to his relationships. Unfortunately, just when it seemed like Rocky understood that his true legacy was his family, the movie ended, shifting the focus back to Adonis Creed and his new family in Creed III. If Rocky VII gets made, it should focus on Rocky finally having a strong, sustained relationship with Robert throughout the entire movie, rather than constantly being at odds. Instead of getting back into the ring, the story could involve the two men growing closer while Rocky trains his grandson, Logan, to be the next world heavyweight champion. The conflict should come from an external source, not from within the family, such as Rocky's cancer returning and Robert supporting him as he fights this invisible enemy. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.